There he is. Hey, it's Tim. Good job, Tim. Yes, and there is life on the end of the fly rod. Yeah, boy, that was a good fish. <laughs> Look at him leave the Woo! leaving Isla Morada. Smoking. Today's Sportsman's Adventures takes us to the very heart and soul of the fabulous Florida Keys, Isla Morada, the sport fishing capital of the world. This tropical island paradise is located halfway down the 100 mile chain of islands that stretches to the sea. This is where the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico meet the clear blue waters of the Atlantic Ocean and provide some of the best light tackle angling found anywhere in the world. Good. On today's adventure, Captain Rick Murphy and our special guest, Tim Mahaffey, will spend a cool and breezy December day pulling miles and miles of Florida Bay flats in search of one of Isla Morada's most famous residents. The bonefish is the closest thing there is to perfect when it comes to fly fishing. They'll gladly eat your fly, then run harder and faster than any other fish fought on light tackle. These bonefish in particular are extremely wary because here, well, there's a lot of fishing pressure. They call this fishing Isla Morada's downtown. And these downtown bonefish are not only some of the biggest in the world, well, they're definitely the spookiest too. Timmy, I think I see some fish literally about 200 yards. I don't know, no, not quite that. They're pushing. You see them pushing there hard? Yeah. Right at the 12, 1 o'clock. I've got them. Going to the left. Is that, is that, is that bonefish or is that a ray? I don't know yet. I, th I think that's bonefish. Let me push over here. We'll see if we can't intercept them here. They just came out of the channel up there. A little more left now. They're going to the left. I've See got him a little him. more left? I got him. Yep. I think right that there. is a school. See him pushing? I'm not sure. You got sure. him there? Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, I'm going to. They look like they're coming really pretty good to they're the left. Here, so I need to come over this way and intercept them a little bit. They're really pushing hard. Yeah, they are. Going left, Rick. Yeah, I, I think they're coming at us and slightly left. Yeah. They, they, they just tailed there. Yep. You see that? I do. That definitely bonefish. Yep. Are they still going left or are they turn back to the right? I, th I think they're turning right towards us now, Rick. They turn, they're coming at us, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 Let that's me stop be the us shot. and turn the boat to the right. That ought to do it. Drop that down there. Oh, yeah. That ought to do it. Catch him, Timmy. Catch him, Timmy. Come on, catch him. There he goes. There he goes. Hey. Hey, now. Nah. Oh, no. Uh -oh. No. I'm backing you up. Backing you up. Coming at us. Dead at us. Get us. Get out of here. Dead at us. Get out of here. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's always an event catching a shell key bonefish, Timmy. That dude's going to run us over. Wow. Look at that power. <laughs> Woo. I'm smoking, Rick. I know. I'm trying. Oh. Shaking his head. Good cast, man. It you gotta works. like that when they're swimming hard. It's hard. It's coming dead at us now, Rick. Kind of throw it out there in front of them. Yeah, we just, just let them swim. Swim up work. to it and then strip it, right? Gotta strip it more than you normally would. Because they're moving so hard. Shaking his head. 
Don't be afraid to pull on him now. Well, I'm waiting for you to get the net, Bubba. I'm coming, Tim. Today? I'm coming. Are you coming today, <laughs> Mr. Net Boy? Wait till you see this net. This is that A rod of all nets. That's why we don't look take at this off. net, here, Richard. Richard, we got problems here. Tim, pull on the fish. This is the A rod of all nets, Tim. You bring him to me. He's lifting it up. That was a scoop there, Dad. Look at that net. <laughs> Look at that net. Look at that net. Look at that bonefish in oh. that net. Boy, Look at it. we worked hard for that fish, I'll oh. tell you. You know, Timmy, we've had a lot of good days of fishing. That's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. Why don't you get your boga okay. right there on the side? Man, look how pretty it is in that blue net. Hey, good job. They're all so rewarding, aren't they? Hey, Especially here. You don't look, oh, the, the, the fly just, just fell out. Up. Yeah, but I gotta tell you, Mr. Bonefish, you don't look too smart in that net right now. <laughs> he thought he was smart. Yeah, he was. Let's see. Now he ran at the boat, tried to go onto the pole. That was neat how they came out of that channel. Yeah, that was a good spot. Look how fat he is. He's a little short. Yeah, he's chunky. Fat fish. Can you believe that fish weighed nine pounds? I can believe nine it. Pounds. It's a weight fish, but just a little short fatty. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna let you have the okay. honor. Thank you. Oh, you want the bow again? Look how light they are, Rick. Yeah. I think they. I think That's when why they get they're older, they get hard to see. They get lighter like that, you know? Kind of like it's like a light pale green yeah. to them. You don't see that blue. That's a lot of the times they're just kind of pale. Pinkish. You know, we got a beautiful, Pat Ford took a really beautiful picture of you and, and the fly reel, and that's what I remember about that picture is the, from your wrist into the fish and the silver reel. That's you know? the one on the cover of Chico's new book. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, fish. I gotta tell you, well, go ahead and let him go when you think he's go. ready. Yeah. Thank you. Think he's been caught before a couple times? Oh, <laughs> right now he's knowing that the flash bulbs would be technically going off. That's right. <laughs> now he has to go back over to the Bahamas to remedial school. <laughs> exactly. That's what they do here, you know? Yeah. They go back over there for a two week course. Back up, baby. Back up, baby. Back up. <laughs> Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Florida, the fishing capital of the world. Yamaha, when you want the best. Rapala, your best shot at a world record. Rapala Line, premium fishing line crafted from experience. Maverick, fish the legend. Minn Kota, anywhere, anytime. Hummingbird, simply, clearly, better. Almost 1,200 miles of coastline, 12,000 miles of rivers and streams, nearly 8,000 lakes over 10 acres, over 700 world records, and 3.4 million anglers a year. In fact, anglers outnumber golfers two to one. Whether you're casting a plug along the shore or trolling the blue waters of the Gulf Stream, you're enjoying a vast outdoor resource. Relax, get closer to nature, and spend time with friends and family. Go fishing right here in the fishing capital of the world. Yamaha's Big Block V6 Four Strokes. Everything you want when you're miles offshore. Everything and more. Up to 250 ocean conquering horses. More than enough top end muscle to move the big boats. Yamaha Turn the Key Reliability translates to confident starts. Quiet, clean burning performance. Smooth, powerful acceleration and cruise all day fuel efficiency. Yamaha, reliability starts here. You know, I fish all over the world in over 300 days a year on the water. And as a matter of fact, I spend more time on the water than on dry land. If it swims in salt water, I catch it. Out here, where the fish are big and mean, your lures really take a beating. To survive, they must be tougher than the fish are. 
backcountry to blue water, my choice in lures is simple. All over the world, big fish oh. eat little fish that swim like a rapala. It takes a little more to make it out here. It's about guts, standing up to the elements, and quietly doing the job when others have long gone home. It takes Riptide, the toughest, most corrosion-resistant trolling motor ever built. When your reputation's on the line, hang it on Riptide, only from Minn Kota. I fish tournaments to win, period. And my boat helps me do that. I gotta run longer, faster, harder than anyone else, day after day, every day. My Hughes is designed by anglers that actually build boats to do that. These guys are driven. If they can satisfy my needs, they can satisfy yours. So, who's gonna build your next gift? Maverick, Hughes, Pathfinder, flat skiffs, tunnel skiffs, and bay boats. Maverick Boat Company, angler driven. Tim Mahaffey discovered his passion for the outdoors as a young boy, fishing the Pennsylvania trout streams with his grandfather. Since moving to Florida, he's graduated to the highest levels of competitive fly fishing. Tim is a regular on the fishing tournament circuit and a regular in the winner's circle. Tim and Rick are close friends. In fact, they're more like brothers, and they regularly fish together. Tim's favorite fish is the bonefish, but while fishing in the prestigious Don Hawley Invitational Tournament, he spent the day angling for Rick's favorite fish. Facing right, facing right. That might work, strip that. Looking good. That's a good one there, Timbo. That's the big one. Did you throw uh, it? Good. We got a line problem. No, we don't. Okay. Well, don't need to worry fish. about that. Hey, good job, buddy. Thanks. Excellent cast. What a great bite. Hey, Timmy, what made you decide to get into fishing tournaments? You know, I was, I started coming down here when I lived in Chicago before I moved down. Uh-huh. And, uh, on one of those trips, I was standing around the dock, and I think it was, I think it was one of the bonefish forums. And, uh, you know, I met some of the people, and I just, you know, I got the competitive juices flowing. Right. And I wanted to try to take my, my fishing to a different level. Is that the fly line coming in? That's the fly line, Rick, yeah. So I started off, I fished with, with Dwayne Baker in the, in the Seamaster tournament. That was the first little tournament I fished in. And the Seamaster Red Bone. It was the Seamaster Bay Bone. Oh, the Bay Bone, yeah. yeah. We did well. We came in second. We almost, we lost on time. And I was, I was hooked. That's it. Again. That's it. Good. This one you might get a roll like this. All right, now pull straight back. Be careful on the, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. That's a good fish, Timbo. Fish, yeah, he's 110. Looks like skinny in the back he's, side, but yeah. heavy in the front side. You know what I mean? Longed mm -hmm. out already. We wouldn't have to worry about whether we were going to strap that thing. Though. No. That decision was made on the eat. That was a beautiful week, wasn't it? Uh huh. I'm going over right. He's lifting. I go right. He's sliding left a little bit. It could be the one where we get the shot. Look at the bubbly, that's from his roll. All right. A little more. Reel down, baby. All right, pull from there. You're getting a little control of him now. More left, Kenny. Boy, they're so pink here, Rick, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, pink. 
Getting right up on him, Rick. Uh, see that. Might be a little bit bigger than that, Tim. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Come on, baby. Back up, back up, back up. Watch it, watch it. I'm not doing anything. It's in a bad place. I can't get that gap in his face. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch it. Back up, baby. Back up, baby. Back up. <laughs> Kind of rough on the gel coat, but it'll work. All right, Tim. Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna probably just let him have this fly. Okay. And that's cool. Just steer into the current, Tim. There we go. All right. I think, look at the dorsal now, it's picking up good. She's ready. Biting my finger like old Snoop. My baby. Get going. Beautiful. There he is. There he is, Tim. Good job, Tim. Yes. And there is life on the end of the fly rod. This Conservation Minute is brought to you by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Florida, it's the fishing capital of the world with more than 700 world record catches. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission works hard to make sure Florida will be the world's fishing capital for years to come. It's recognized as an innovator in managing habitat and species resources for their long-term well-being and the benefit of people. And we're pretty successful. You are an important part of Florida's success in this area, but we need your continued support. And there are many ways you can help. Here's one of the easiest, one that's fun. Go fishing and when you do, take a kid with you. Through the Take a Kid Fishing Program, the FWC is dedicated to helping make it safe and easy for Floridians to go fishing and to ensure this rich fishing heritage is passed on to future generations. For more information on the fishing capital of the world, visit myfwc.com. Contender Boats, take it to the limit. Wherever you find fishing tournament winners, you'll find Contender Boat owners. First to the fishing grounds, first to the winner's circle. When you look for strength, versatility, and ocean ability, you find Contender Boats, hand-built, one by one, each and every boat. Contender Boats is proud to introduce its new 23 Tournament Edition, the latest in true mid-sized offshore fishing rigs. Contender is committed to providing outstanding quality and performance. Nothing else delivers. Expect the most, Contender Boats. If you're a boater, you know it's required by law to carry at least one life jacket for every passenger on board. Maybe you're thinking, I can swim, I don't need a life jacket. Consider that the leading cause of death in boating accidents is drowning, even though 96% of fatality victims were reported as being able to swim. New inflatable models of life jackets can be worn as a waist pack on a belt. For more information about life jackets and boating safety, visit myfwc.com. And remember, safe boating is up to you. Wouldn't it be great if you could snap on a lure and just go fishing? With something that looks like, and more importantly, swims like the real thing. With lures that come pre-rigged with the best components available. With baits designed by people who fish all over the world. But most importantly, you tie these on your line, you're gonna catch some fish. Humminbird 900 series will change the way you look at fishing. You get the extra dimension of 3D sonar, 
full chart plotting and GPS, and exclusive side imaging with a picture-like view of the bottom, all on an ultra-wide, high-definition display. The 900 series fishing system doesn't just perform on the water, it practically walks on it. Humminbird, simply, clearly better. Yamaha's Big Block V6 Four Strokes. Everything you want when you're miles offshore. Everything and more. Up to 250 ocean conquering horses. More than enough top end muscle to move the big boats. Yamaha Turn the Key reliability translates to confident starts. Quiet, clean burning performance. Smooth, powerful acceleration and cruise all day fuel efficiency. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Where else can you fish for over 50 species of game fish? Where have most world record fish been caught? Where are there more than 8,000 miles of coastline, 12,000 miles of rivers and streams, and 3 million acres of freshwater lakes and ponds? Florida, the fishing capital of the world. For more information, contact the commission office nearest you or go to myfwc.com. Fishing for the Isla Mirada downtown bonefish is a unique experience. One minute, you're on a flat fishing up tight against the mangroves. And then on the next flat, you might be up tight around the local motels. The game's the same, though. You're still pursuing that sleek silver shadow that streaks across the pale sandy bottom. Go, go ahead, make a cast. Go all right. Tim, good job, Tim. Yes, and there is life on the end of the fly rod. Yeah, boy, that was a good fish. <laughs> Look at him leave the, Woo! leaving Isla Mirada. Smoking. Oh, this is when I wish I had old Croker's big long arm. See the size of that fish, Rick? No. Oh, uh, it's a big downtown fish. Keep it high. Keep him high. In the channel, Rick. I know. I'm going. Oh. Okay, slow down. He's coming at us now. You got him? Yeah, he's on. Look at all the trail of mud here he left leaving. Trying to dig into the bottom. Cut us off. Whew. They always run into the current and into the 20 knots of wind. He's just at the bottom of the channel now. Down there. Rooting around. Slow down. I'm not even pulling. Okay. All right, here we go. Now, Timmy, I want to ask you, what's the biggest ball fish that you've ever caught? Well, I've caught two. So that were 14-4, Rick. 14-4. 14-4. They were exactly the same. I caught them a year apart, almost to the day. That one of those fish was a world record, right? Yeah, one was a, the 16 record. This fish is going to go to the left now. That first run hurt him, but I think he's got more. Came back, coming back out to the channel. Have you caught a fish that big, Rick? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I caught, the biggest fish that I personally have caught is not that big. But I guided a friend of ours, Pat Ford, to a 15-pounder on a shrimp in uh, Biscayne Bay in December, about the first week of December like this. Two weeks later to the day, he catches a one-on fly a mile from where we caught that fish that was 13 pounds, 14 ounces. Is that right? Almost a 14 pound. Yeah, it's, it's so, so cool to catch a fish that size. Oh man, what a big yeah, fish. That's a beautiful fish. <clears throat> Don't step down or you'll smash me. Now. How you doing? <laughs> Super duper net. Are you ready? Not yet. It'll take me a half a second. Bring him on this left side. Here we go. Your left side, the other okay, side. This side, we got him the right other here. Side. Okay. This side. Yeah, he's weak on that side. Keep lifting. Oh, that is fish. a good ball. <laughs> the stone wow. master catches another one. 
Ooh, look at that one. Jimmy. That is a nice fish. That is. Yeah. Go ahead, get I him saw him eat that. You saw the that big pink face. He went right down on it. And he tailed on it, but it, you know, there was it's deep water, so his tail didn't come out of the water. You need my pliers? Yeah. So you got your own? I have mine. Oh, yes. I'm going to get him out of there. Okay. And I'll put my net away. That one's a little bigger than some of the other ones we've caught together. And yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, look at the mass in here. Yeah. Now it's so funny look, how sometimes the, yeah, sometimes they'll bar up real hard and real dominant, and this one, I guess maybe, because he's out here on the ocean, the more sandy colored bottom. He's These to fish get so far. wide. They get so so fat across their back, you know? Yeah. Let's now let make him sure go. you take your time releasing it. Okay. Why do you know that the clear, shallow flats of Florida Bay, searching for the small schools of big bonefish that come in waves with the rising of the tide, is a special experience. And sharing the time together with great friends like Rick and Tim has made this another great sportsman's adventure.